I got a couple of questions today I wanted to talk about. One of them is actually about uh, the Oxford vaccine. I wrote about that in the newsletter this week. The Oxford, there's several vaccine candidates that are looking really promising. There's one put out by the University of Oxford in England, um, Oxford University, that looks really promising. There's also a candidate that's being um, talked about from Johnson & Johnson that also looks pretty promising. The Oxford vaccine, um, they are st they've already started um, human trials, which uh, I think they started earlier this week. Human trials in the Oxford vaccine. It'll be very interesting to see what happens over the next several months as they test this. The Johnson & Johnson trial, um, a vaccine candidate, they're trying to start human trials in September, last I read. There are also about six or eight other drug companies and biopharma companies that are working on candidates. Remember that just because you have a good candidate in the laboratory, it doesn't mean it passes the two tests it has to pass out in the public. First, it has to, well, actually three tests. First, it has to be safe. So it has to not cause like overwhelming allergic reactions or lethal side effects. So first it has to be safe. And then second of all, it has to generate an immune response. So just because you inject something into somebody's arm doesn't mean it's gonna rev up our immune system. And the third thing it has to actually, even though our immune system is revved up, it has to actually prevent you from getting infected with the virus. Because just because it creates antibodies after you inject it, doesn't mean that those are neutralizing or fighting antibodies. It could be, our body produces a lot of antibodies and we have an invading infection. And what you need to produce are something called neutralizing antibodies, the ones that fight the virus. So that's why it takes many months to, between vaccine candidate and getting it out to the public. But I'm optimistic that these two candidates hopefully will show great a great uh, efficacy and safety profiles, and then maybe we'll get a vaccine really at the one year mark and not, and closer to one year and not 18 months or two years. So that is good news about the Oxford vaccine candidate and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine candidate.